Hello, we have another question today. And let's get that question. The question is, if I follow a strict gluten-free diet and continue with the vitamin regimen, regimen for the rest of the year, will that be enough so that my gut will heal and I can break the cycle? And that is the cycle of illness I am expecting. So uh, the short answer is no. And here's why. It's not only what you eat. You cannot separate your brain from your body. What happens is when you're very, very agitated and your brain sends signals of not right, there is a transformation, you know, a, a, a conversation that goes on between your intestines and your brain. And when there is the wash of adrenaline or cortisol or whatever you want to say builds up the hormone in your body, what happens is it reduces your, um, the movement, the diastolic movement of your intestines, the rhythmic movement, it stops functioning. It also stops the secretion of digestive enzymes and it, and it makes the alveoli, the, the rhythmic movement of the little hairs on the inside of your guts, not move. So as long as your brain is going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, or being in a state of alert, then yes, your intestines will be unhappy. Now, you can heal it all you want, but you have to heal both your brain and your body, both your mind and your body. Meditation, yes, that works to a point, but if you, it's just like, I sure, I go to church once a week, <laughs> but then I go home and I cuss the, you know, whoever, right? It's not the same. It's, you know, one hour of doing it right. It's like one push up. Oh yeah, I'm great. It has to be a constant state of let's bring our attention back to what's important right now instead of worrying about the future or worrying about something that we cannot do anything about. A wise woman once told me a very long time ago when I was raising a highly sensitive and highly intelligent and opinionated daughter, one whom I did not want to discourage her feelings from, I didn't want to crush her. She said, Pick your battles. And that's exactly like any other moment in life, pick your battles. So please don't go to war for every little thing that bothers you. Being angry, being upset, being worried, being frightened sends a wash of adrenaline through your body and, it's, and it creates the sympathetic nervous system uh, a signal to stop your guts, to make them slow down. This is why when you're upset, your stomach hurts. How many, how many people have pain in their stomach when they're upset? I do, and I know you must too. So let's talk about why some people are always a little agitated by life. Well, if you are a, a child, and you are sensitive, and your life was very disrupted, or you were treated with insensitivity, or might I say cruelty, you taught your already very sensitive system to go on high alert. And when it's on high alert, while it might save your life if you're running from a lion and or an aggressor, it's not going to save your life from the traffic. It's not going to save your life from day-to-day -day irritations, um, you know, trolls on Facebook or Twitter or Twitter or whatever you call it. It's not going to save your life from that. This constant low-grade trigger, 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 the one that makes your intestines hurt, makes them stop, is not going to help you. So find any way possible to soothe yourself. There is the old stroking method of allowing your body to calm by stroking your arms, stroking that, there's that. There is um, breathing exercises. Uh, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar has an excellent daily Kriya uh, where you breathe and do movement every day. Certain movements like this, if you study those, learn something like that, where because we can release the chemicals through our lungs. That's one of the places where um, we release toxins is through our lungs, which is why when people are drinking, you can smell it on their breath. Okay. It's not because it's still in their mouth. 
Otherwise, you know, why would you smell it on their breath the next day, right? <laughs> or on their skin, you can smell it through their skin. So transpiration through the body or perspiration, we're not trees, sorry. <laughs> Come on, guides. <laughs> perspiration or exhalation, that's transpiration is the exhalation through our lungs is what they just said, sorry. When we um, release the toxins through our lungs through breathing, and I'm talking about the toxin of having built up adrenaline, it will trigger our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the one that says, stand down, everything's okay, we don't have to battle right now. Do anything you can to feel safe, loved, warm, and protective. Please focus on that, and then you will be healthy. The more you worry, the more you allow your mind to loop in worries, this, the longer you'll be sick. Because often, they're saying something about manifesting. You manifest what you vibrate. You manifest what you focus on. You manifest what your intent is. So if your intent is not sick, not worry, not anything, the outcome is worry. So they're asking if you want to focus on something, focus on healthy, focus on happy, focus on well, focus on content, focus on satisfied, focus on enjoyment, focus on noticing what's right and not wrong and that will help because all those lower vibrational noticings are triggering the stress within the body which goes immediately to the intestines which goes immediately to the health and they're asking me if i need to talk about how the intestines work with your health uh, because they're saying that um, the intestines are the source of natural, and they're saying crime fighting. <laughs> I guess they mean um, natural um, resistance. The intestines are a source of natural resistance to the elements, is what they're saying. And so when the intestine is compromised, or the engine, it's the engine, that's interesting. When the engine is compromised, then you can't move forward through life as easily. And they're right. They're absolutely right. So treat your body, yes, but remember, treat the real source, which is your mind. Thank you. And until next time, thanks so much.